Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my whipped body butter and where you can purchase it from. The ingredients used are shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, rosehip seed oil, and vitamin E oil. And I'll have all of their properties and the reasons why these ingredients are so helpful to your skin in the link below. So as you see here, I have a double broiler system going on. I'm first going to put in my cocoa butter by breaking it into pieces so it's able to melt faster. Next, I'm going to grab my shea butter and coconut oil. And as you'll see here, I'm not measuring it out. I just put about three big spoonfuls of each. And this allowed me to fill my four ounce and eight ounce mason jars. Once it's melted into this oil consistency, you're going to take your glass bowl out of your pot and place it into the refrigerator for about 30 to 40 minutes, or just basically until it's back to a solid and hardened a bit. I let my butter sit in the refrigerator for about 35 minutes, and as you see here, your butter shouldn't be too hard to where you can't poke your finger through. After mixing my body butter for a couple of minutes, I'm now going to add my oils. I put about a cap full of vitamin E oil and I'll say about 15 drops of my rose seed hip oil. Adding your oils in after your body butter has been refrigerated helps with the fluffiness and softness of it versus putting it in while you're melting your butters and changing the properties of your oil. This is how your whipped body butter should look. You don't want to whip it too much because then it starts to turn back into an oil. Next, I'm going to use a Ziploc bag to fill my mason jars because it makes it more easier and less messy.
Thanks for watching how I make my whipped body butter. And as I said before, in the link below, I will have why I use these ingredients and how helpful they are to the skin and also where you can purchase my whipped body butter.